Here is my glorious looking breakfast this morning. I went a little outside my norm because I really wanted to have a bagel. So this, while I used up all my Perfect 10 bagels, I did have one packet left of the Blueberry Alternative Bagels from Western Bagels. So this is three smart points for the Blueberry Bagel. And then on top of it, I put one smart point worth of the reduced fat art of um, Philadelphia cream cheese, strawberry. And that's like 13 grams. So it's not a lot, but when you top it with the sugar-free strawberry preserves, it's plenty of topping on the bagel. So the topping is only one point because the preserves are zero. Um, and that was for a tablespoon and a half of the great value one. So that's four points total. And then I actually put an egg and egg whites together today. So I have two points for the egg. And then I put my typical five uh, tablespoons of egg whites in there for zero. And then I just put chives, everything basil, bagel seasoning, and fat-free shredded cheddar cheese for zero additional points. So this is two. And this is one, two, three, four. So we got six points and then blueberries, so six points total. Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. I am getting it done, getting it done. I feel like I'm moving so slowly, but I'm really not, and that's like, that is my big problem with being a blogger and vlogger is, and having these fitness goals, and I haven't figured out how to balance it properly yet because I could easily sit at this computer all stinking day to do stuff, but then my step goals would be obsolete, non-existent. I would get nowhere close. So I, the struggle, the struggle is legitimately real because I just, I don't know. I don't feel like there's not enough hours in the, I feel like there's not enough hours in the day. I don't know. Um, but I'm working on getting my video from yesterday uploaded. I've already published two videos today. Um, so after I hit publish on this one, it'll, I'll be all caught up and that's a happy day. And then today is more of the same. Gotta get to the gym because of that step goal. My hope is that I can get to my second stretch goal um, of 18,600 steps for, and then I'll be done with the stretch goal for the week, and then I will just have to do four days of 15,000 steps and some odd change. Um, it'll feel really good to get that over with, but it's really hard to get going this morning because I did it yesterday. So anyway, I wanted to point this out because I thought it was hilarious. So watch the tab. You know how you can keep track of like the tabs? See the enlightened tab? <laughs> Wait, where did you go? <laughs> I think that's so funny. I don't know. I've never seen anything like that before. I thought that was super clever. Way to go, enlightened. Um, but, yeah, that's all I really had to say about that. You saw what I had for breakfast. I have a meeting to go to tonight, and the last time I had this meeting, I completely flaked on the meeting, and I've never done anything like that before. So I have. I had a... Uh, Reminder set yesterday at 6 p.m. to say, you have a meeting tomorrow. And then I have a, a reminder set at 4 p.m. to be like, you have a meeting in two hours. Go to church because I'm not flaking out on this again. It's just me and two friends. Like, they're good friends of mine. And we're on this committee together. And I was just like, I, when I figured it out last time I missed it, it was like midnight when I realized I was supposed to be at church at 6 p.m. I was like, oh. but the part that killed me, I looked at them all and I was like, guys. Text me if I'm not there. I will drop what I'm doing and come. You guys should know better. Um, they were super sweet about it. Like, it's totally fine. Not a big deal. You're a volunteer. It's not like we can fire you over this. Um, but I'm going to that meeting tonight. It's going to happen. And I have a twisted combination of wanting to clean things and needing to film and blog things along with needing to get 18,000 steps in there somewhere today and go to a meeting. So I'm going to stop talking to you and start getting the things done. Here is my lunch slash early dinner. Doesn't it look tasty? So this is spinach and romaine lettuce, zero points, six ounces of ahi tuna cooked, two points, um, three points worth of the crispy cheesy things, three points, so that's five, one point worth of the Trader Joe's light fat mozzarella, low fat mozzarella for one, so that's six. And then three points of the Trader Joe's champagne pear dressing, seven, eight, so nine smart points total for this beautiful, healthy, and oh so filling salad.
which I'm super excited about. And I am, oh man, this day, guys. So I don't remember if I ranted earlier about how I was woken up this morning. I was woken up by the lawn maintenance people at 7 a.m. Who lets the lawn maintenance people do stuff at 7 a.m.? Oh my gosh, it was infuriating. So I woke up on a bad, in a bad mood. Um, and it just kind of stuck with me all day. And I was spending so much time like hemming and hawing and procrastinating and not going to the gym. And I finally went. And it took me until like 2.30 in the afternoon. All right, maybe a little bit earlier than 2.30. 1.30 is what it was. It was 1.30. And I went and I did the elliptical on light resistance because I worked out hard yesterday. Light resistance because I need to get my steps in for the step bet. And I went for an hour. And I am now at like 13,000 of the 18,000 steps that I need. And I feel so much better. And while I'm behind, I'm like, you know what? I was in a foul mood and now I feel better. So I guess the takeaway is stop procrastinating, go into the gym or working out or whatever it is you do for activity and just go do it because you are going to feel so much better about it than, than procrastinating all day. You know, I sat here and I'm like, I'm going to go eventually. Like, I knew I was going to go and I feel great after having gone. And I could have felt great at 10 o'clock instead of 2.30. Sometimes we just never learn. Hello, I'm home. It is 7.18. I just got back from my meeting and um, it was good. I actually got back a little bit, a little while ago. But, you know, take care of the dog. And I'm about to take Gracie for a walk because it's still light outside and I still have about 3,000 steps to get to my 18,600. But first I thought I would show you I got a surprise box from Quest Nutrition today. And being a member of the Quest Squad, I get those every once in a while and it's super exciting. And usually it will be like product for a campaign, but then I also get something sometimes when I complete a campaign. So it's a great, great, great deal. Um, so I thought we would see what's inside. I opened the box just to get my address out of the way. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh good box. So we got a random little bracelet thingy here. It says Quest. Never done. Ain't that the truth? So we got a little bracelet, but the rock stars are... Okay, so what's funny... Oh my gosh, I can't get these out with one hand. So what's funny is this is like my third third box of these from them which is great because this would be my like fifth box total because like I told you guys before I bought these when they were on quest labs and not available to the public yet I went through like two boxes of them because I love them um well that's awesome so these are the mocha chocolate chip where does it say the flavor Oh, right in front of me. Wow. Um, Mocha Chocolate Chip Quest Bar, their newest flavor of their regular Quest Bar. I love it. I love it. And then I got a 12-pack of the individual pouches of cookies and cream protein powder. That is so exciting. This is actually a really good flavor. Um, and this is making me want ice cream. And now I'm wondering if I can turn it into... Well, I can. I can turn it into a smoothie. Ooh. I'm excited. So... That's what came. My boxy charm came, but I will be filming a, a different video for that as I normally do. Um, and yeah, that's that's what's happening. My meeting was good because it's just me and two other people who I'm good friends with. We get in, we get out, and we get it done. And it, our meeting was 45 minutes long. And I don't think I've ever been to a meeting in that building other than the other meeting I've had with these two people. <laughs> that has lasted for less than an hour so that's awesome but i'm going to go and take this little needy kins here yes oh don't you just look so sad <gasps> hello <gasps> hello i'm gonna take her for a walk because it's beautiful outside it's not too hot the sun is still out so we're gonna go and get some more steps in and hopefully fingers crossed i will come back with my stretch goal for the step bet met Here's hoping. All right, it is dessert slash snack time, which is going to take me to the end of my points for the day, but that is totally okay because it is 20 after eight. Um, so I actually made something that actually resembles ice cream, um, but the thing that I used to get it, this consistency, there's about a third of a frozen banana in here. And unfortunately, 
it tastes, you can taste banana. I was hoping that I had used a small enough amount of banana to just get the consistency because blended banana creates such an amazing consistency. Um, and I used the cookies and cream protein powder and unsweetened vanilla cashew milk and then ice. And the consistency is exactly what I wanted it to be. But the flavor is not quite, but it's not bad. Like, you can taste the banana, but then you forget about the banana because you taste a little bit of the cookies and cream. If I had, like, two Oreo cookies that I could mash up and put in here and blend that in, it would completely solve the problem. But alas, I don't. But it's still really good, and this was only... Actually, because I probably only used three quarters of a cup of this, it's probably only one smart point. I'm only paying for this because I do not blend the, or I do not count the blended banana. And I saw on Instagram today, oh man, I look like a hot mess right now. I'm sorry. Um, that there is like a hashtag, it's not a very popular one, but it was like hashtag don't count, team don't count blended fruit or something. And I was like, yes, that is totally me. I didn't know that was a thing, but it's my thing now. Um, so because I don't count it, it only counts for the protein powder. And then I'm going to eat this, which is eight smart points. So it's nine smart points total, which is fine because I actually have eight, nine, ten, eleven left. So we're all good here. And I'm going to sit down and enjoy some bachelorette. Hello. Well, first things first. I did it. I got to my 18,603 or whatever it is step goal. My legs, oh, excuse me, are not at all excited about this. <laughs> but I did it. It's done. I have managed to get the two stretch goals that I've needed for the week done at the beginning of the week. So for four out of the five more days that are left in the week, I only need to get to 15,300 and something steps, which is still more than what my step goal is, but compared to the 18.6, that feels completely attainable, right? Oh, five weeks of this? I signed up for five weeks of this in order to not lose money? And this is, this is what the kicker is. It's because it's a step bet they get you and you want to do it, you could just throw in the towel and be like, meh, but you lose the money you put in the pot if you do that. You need to succeed if you want to get your $20 back or whatever the ante is for whatever step that you're doing. For me, it's $20 um, and a chance to split the pot because odds are not everybody in your step bet is going to succeed, which means all the winners will split their pot as well. So the things we do for a couple dollars. Oh. As you can tell, I'm quite tired. I just washed my face. And I'm letting my oils and moisturizers sink in before I put my acne medication on, as I do. I've got the Natural Vitality Calm Supplement, the Magnesium Supplement, um, in my bedroom, the glass of water that I have it with and I was in there because I was putting away some laundry and finishing up last night's episode of The Bachelorette which okay first of all do any of you watch The Bachelorette I am like I'm one of those people I wouldn't call myself a fan but because my husband and I watch like all of the good shows that I want to watch my husband and I watch together and because of his work schedule, we can only watch them Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So when he's gone all week, I don't have anything to watch, which is why I keep coming to you guys asking for recommendations because I'm, I'm just at a loss. All the good stuff we watch together, like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And we do a lot of the fitness related shows like um, American Ninja Warrior and all that jazz. Like we like watching that together. Um that just leaves me with nothing. So one of my things that I know he will never, ever want to watch, and he is actually kind of disappointed that I watch it, um, is The Bachelor and The Bachelorette stuff. But I watch it because of the train wreck that it is. Like, I'm sitting there and I'm watching The Bachelorette tonight, and I'm baffled by how much drama there is among men. I mean, I thought... I. Just saying, they can't really accuse us of much anymore, right, girls? 
because look at the men on The Bachelorette. They're worse than a lot of us are. Um, and I know, I know it's overly produced and the producers meticulously pick people that will cause all the drama and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's not unscripted completely. You know, it, it's planned. They have a villain and they have, you know, they, they, they make a show out of it. The producers are very good at their jobs. Um, but I still watch it and it still makes me crazy to be like, Man, these men are immature or bratty or what, whatever. There's a gossip queen on this one. And I was like, dude, who do you think you are? One of the mean girls? Like, I don't know. I don't know. And speaking of things that you can't turn off because it's such a train wreck, I don't think I brought this up yet, but because I'm talking about crappy TV, I mean, no offense to those of you that, like, genuinely love The Bachelor stuff, but I watch it because it's a disaster. Um... But if you love it, that's great. Some of my nearest and dearest friends have been religious Bachelor and Bachelorette watchers for years. And I pride myself on the fact that I can take participate in conversation with them. But I'm not like a ride or die. If, if it disappeared tomorrow, I wouldn't be devastated. Except I'd be at a loss for things to watch again. So that's really the only reason I watch it. Is because I need something and I know my husband won't be heartbroken. But if you love it more power to you. I see its appeal, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't watch it. Um, but I'm not, like, it, it's my, what I call trash TV. Like, Gossip Girl was the same thing for me. Um, so it's not, it's not like it's bad, but it's just not, not what he and I would watch together, or not of the intellectual nature, or whatever. Anyway, I digress. Back to the subject of crappy TV, and I can't remember if I've vlogged about this before or not, so I apologize if I have, but did any of you watch the Dirty Dancing remake that aired on ABC on May 24th? If so, how did you feel about it? If so, and you liked it, I apologize for what I'm about to say. But I think that that was the most terrible thing I've ever watched on television. Now you have to understand, I am an avid, avid Dirty Dancing fan. Patrick Swayze was my first celebrity crush. I kid you not. Um, only maybe behind Donny Osmond because I loved him in Joseph and he came through Chicago when I was eight years old and my mom took me to see him. Um, so between Donny Osmond and Patrick Swayze, but like, Patrick Swayze... I was like, oh, oh, I loved him. I loved him. And I, my sister texted me the day he died. And I was, I was so sad. I was like, no, I felt like a part of me died because, oh, anyway, I'm sitting there and I'm, I missed the first half hour of it. And I just sat there and I watched it and I couldn't like, just when you think it can't get worse, it does. And then the ending happens. And I was like, this movie is important to my whole family. Like, my grandparents had us watching it, and it was one of my grandmother's favorite movies. My grandmother passed away in 2010. And so it's just, it's a movie that my family really treasures, and we all love it. We always live for the last scene in the movie. My grandmother, I swear to you, would be in another room, and if one of us was watching the the movie at her house or whatever, or if she saw it was on TV and the last 20 minutes were on, she'd turn it on because of that last scene. She'd watch it every time. Um, and so I'm texting my sister as soon as I turn it out. I'm like, are you watching this? And then I'm just sitting there like, what is happening? No, no. Like our text message stream was hysterical. And about halfway through, maybe three quarters of the way through, all of a sudden my dad, who is sitting next to my sister at my parents' house watching this travesty, starts texting me about how bad it is too. I was like, you know, it's pretty bad if my father has something to say about it. Oh man, it was just, uh, there are some things that should never be created and a remake of Dirty Dancing is one of them. The, I, I, I don't know whose idea it was, but it was a terrible idea. Terrible idea. Do not remake perfection. Just don't do it. You just don't do it. And I could go on about this for an hour. I seriously, the, that night when my husband called, all I did was rant about this show. And he's like, why did you even keep watching it if you hated it so much? And I was like, it was like a train wreck. No matter how bad it got, you just couldn't look away. 
And that's how a lot of people felt about it. Take a trip to Twitter. Search, like, Dirty Dancing TV movie. or I don't remember what it is. It could be well gone by now. But the tweets about it were hysterical. Basically, everybody was on my side. Team anti-TV version of this show. Anyway. I felt the need to tell you that. Because I was talking about crummy TV. And that was the epitome of it all. Um, so... On that note, I don't think I have anything else to say. I am very pleased with how I ate today. I stayed within my points. I actually have two points left. Five. Yeah, two points left that I'm not going to touch because I'm not hungry. Oh, I'll take it. I didn't eat a real lunch today. I ate that good breakfast with a real egg. I don't know if the real egg is what made all the difference. I don't know. But it kept me full for a long time. I didn't eat dinner, which was my lunch slash dinner, that salad, until like 4.30. And then I went to my meeting, and I went for a walk. And then I ate my ice cream thingy and my chocolate rice treat thing. Sorry, my brain is clearly derailing. I am so physically exhausted from all of these steps I had to take that my brain is starting to go to. Um... By the way, the chocolate crispy treat by Enlightened was, I mean, it was good. It wasn't as sweet as I had hoped, which I get, it must be my sugar tooth, but my sugar tooth. See? Oh my God, you guys. Oh my gosh. Can't talk anymore. It must be my sweet tooth, but both of the flavors I've tried so far, while good, didn't taste quite as, quite sweet enough to me, but it's probably because I'm trying to compare them to the uh, Rice Krispie Treats, which has like legitimate sugar and stuff in it. Um, now what I'm really interested to see is, you know the donuts that I love? The dough bar, the protein donuts? They launched a Kickstarter back in November, or even earlier maybe. They're significantly delayed on production, but I was like, you know what guys, I, ba I back you all the way. They offered people refunds who didn't want to wait anymore. But they are working on formulating their own protein marshmallow crispy treat. Um, enlightened beat them to it, but they're working on it. So I'm curious to see how different or not different the dough bars crispy treats are going to be from the enlightened crispy treats because I don't know, it could be a game changer. We'll see. But the chocolate one, it had some chocolate. It took a minute for the chocolate flavor to set in. Like you ate it and it probably didn't help that I was eating it with the ice cream thing that I made, the protein ice cream thing. And I put, I put a little bit of um, the swerve sweetener in that to make it a little bit sweeter and more ice cream like and it tasted I think compared to the ice cream the rice krispie treat significantly lacked in sweetness which made me go eh. but it took a second but the chocolate did hit you um I read on a blog by a or a YouTube or not YouTube insta stories or snapchat or something I followed this Instagrammer called junk banter and he is a blogger about all things junk food and he gives his opinions like on the fly. And his favorite of the four was the apple cinnamon one. The, uh, he's like, the two flavored ones are eh. And apparently the original one's pretty darn bland. And actually somebody commented on my video from yesterday saying that they tried the plain one and it was really bland. So I might figure out if I can doctor that up with some cinnamon sugar or something to make it a little bit more enjoyable. Um, that would satisfy the sweet part too. But all in all, it was good. And it, that was eight points. And I'm... I'm perfectly satisfied and I got all my steps in so I was active and I ate well today and if I can do that again tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that etc etc maybe the scale will start doing what it's supposed to be doing finally we'll see I mean I don't know because I haven't hopped on the scale in June um but who knows where we're actually at I don't notice any really difference in my body but this week I might which reminds me, I need to go icy hot my legs um, because my muscles, I'm going to show you my pasty white bare leg. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure that it's just a quadricep muscle here, but whatever is right here, the I call the above the knee muscle. It's like the, the couple inches here. For some reason, that must be weaker than the rest of my quad because when I overwork my legs, this is what hurts. Just this chunk. Like, this hurts too, but this hurts exponentially more. And that area of my leg on both legs hurts like the dickens right now. Um, and I foam rolled. I did what I could do other than take painkillers. So I think I'm going to put some Icy Hot on it and hope that helps relax it. So... 
I'm going to go because I'm just rambling. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a wonderful day. Take care, and I will see you tomorrow for Hump Day. Woohoo! Have a good night, guys.